Today we want to chat a little bit about what being energetically aware actually means. So for many of us, um, what happened is for most of our lives, when we were really young, we've been defined as being too sensitive. Yeah, and that label can kind of stick with you all your life. And anytime when something feels like it's a little too much, um, you're reacting more strongly than other people would in a certain situation, um, it can feel like you are too sensitive. But what if that's actually not the case? So one of the parts that I see with any kind of energetic uh, aware people is the thing is you're energetically aware, you're not too sensitive. Now, I know it can seem like you're too sensitive, but the part is, is energetic awareness has never really been uh, described or explained in the mainstream world in a way that was actually empowering. Because we've always heard stuff like, um, you just need to get a, a thicker skin, you shouldn't let things bother you as much. So everything that brings up, do you just choose to release that? Because what if you don't have to keep holding on to it, don't have to hold on to the limiting belief that you're too sensitive? Yikes, just so let all that go, let all that go, let all that go. Yeah, because what's going on is you actually have these thought or these perceptions that people who are just uh, regular, normal, muggle type people, they cannot perceive. Now, the thing is, is sometimes like when you're around somebody, you can perceive their emotions really strongly. And a muggle type person might be able to perceive those or understand that they're there if they're, the person is having like strong reactions, is saying things in a certain way. But you not only can perceive it from the outside, you're perceiving it from the inside. Your energetic awareness gives you the ability to feel what other people are feeling. Now, this also can be kind of uh, uncomfortable if you don't really understand what's going on. And for many of us, when we were younger, it really was. We didn't understand why we felt things so strongly. Well, one of the things that's going on is when you're around other people and they have a strong emotion, you not only perceive it on the outside, you're perceiving it on the inside. You're feeling it as if it's really your emotion. So you're feeling it as if it's your emotion. So it can feel really strong. And sometimes it's really surprising because you might go somewhere and then all of a sudden you're going, gosh, why do I feel so anxious or nervous? Or why am I feeling super sad? Well, it often is, is because you're picking up what somebody else around you is feeling. You're picking up their emotion. Now, part of this is a really amazing superpower because how cool is it to have this additional information about what's going on with people or the areas around you. The challenge is, is often when you don't realize that you're perceiving those other people's feelings and emotions and you think that they're yours, it can put you into a place making you doubt yourself or feeling you're not strong and powerful. So one of the things is because you're so energetically aware, because you're energetically perceptive and feeling these other people's feelings and emotions inside you, um, for any time you're feeling emotions, you wanna just ask energetically um, how much of this feeling or emotion that you're feeling is authentically your feeling or your emotion. Do you feel how things even just right now got a little bit lighter? Yeah, because what happens is, is because you're so energetically aware, energetically perceptive, almost every feeling or emotion you have is gonna have some portion that you're sensing from someone else. Because if it's authentically your emotion, what that kind of does is it's, um, it adjusts your awareness kind of like a radio um, receiver. And when you're feeling a certain emotion, let's say it's uh, sadness or feeling small, you're basically turning that dial to perceive other people around you that have those similar energies and emotions. Now, this is all kind of done subconsciously, so um, you don't have to worry about doing it. But just like noticing like when the radio's on to like a sad song, you no longer want to be sad. You want to either turn off that radio or turn it down or turn it to a different station. Yeah, so everywhere that you were feeling other people, you're feeling strong emotions and you thought that they must be yours, but they're actually someone or something else's that you're picking up. And basically what I was saying is um, that it's not like you're just automatically picking up these emotions and feeling them. It's like what's going on is you're just sensing things around you and that sensing, you can either you can either turn that volume up or turn it down. So let's go back to the part. So anytime you're feeling any kind of emotion, you just wanna ask how much of this emotion is authentically your emotion? 
how much are you picking up from someone or something else? Now, the part is, is we don't have to get an exact number, but what I found is no matter what authentic motion you're feeling, there's an amount of 10 to even like 95% that you're picking up from other people, other energies. So basically, if you're feeling emotion you don't wanna feel, you just wanna ask, because even if it's only that 10% you're picking up or sensing from someone or something else, releasing that is gonna make things so much easier. Ah, awesome. So um, however you're feeling today, um, how much of that is authentically 100% you're feeling that emotion and how much are you picking up from someone or something else? Do you feel the things just like, it just gets a little bit lighter? Yeah, and this is one of those ones that your energetically uh, energetic awareness, without even doing any energetic work, you can adjust it. So now one of the tricks um, around this is why, like for many of us a long time ago, we thought we couldn't adjust our energetic awareness is because you can never turn it off. Now think back about the time when you were feeling like things were too much. You were feeling like maybe in a crowd or something and you, and you said something, just make it stop, just turn it off. Wow, and we've all done that. But the part is, is your energetic awareness is a superpower. It's a capacity you have. You can't just turn it off, but you can turn it down. So anytime you're feeling a little overwhelmed or feeling too much, I wanna ask how much of what you're feeling is authentically your feeling? How much are you picking up from someone or something else? And you can just like release that. Or you can also ask, like especially if you're in a, a, a big crowd and you're feeling a little uncomfortable, ask your awareness to turn down. Ooh, do you feel the release on that? Ask your awareness to turn down. Awesome. So I'm Max Riggs, Energetic Awareness Explorer and your Energetic Guide, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.